In less than 30 minutes, I'm gonna give you my entire $100 million business building blueprints. In fact, actually it's done more than $220 million for our clients. But at the time, we called it the $100 million business blueprint because that's at the time what it was doing for our clients. I'm gonna shift over into a very tactical training for you in just a moment, where I'm gonna walk you through the acquisition, the delivery, how to work with clients online, and in literally 30 minutes, you will have so much more clarity about how you can improve what you're doing with your online business to get more clients, to help more clients on the back end, and ultimately allow you to help more people while you make more money without grinding away on social media for the rest of your life. So if that's important to you, and that's something you'd like, then make sure you sit tight, don't go anywhere, grab a pen and paper, you're gonna to wanna to jot down some serious notes on this one, and again, mind will be blown. As always guys, I'm bringing you the best, so let's dive into this. I call this the $100 million blueprint, and the reason I call it this is because this, what I'm about to share with you, has generated, actually it's more than $100 million in, in revenue, but uh, we'll call it $100 million. So what I'm going to share with you here is exactly how our clients have done what they've done in their businesses. So to this point, we've helped more than 1,200 health professionals grow their businesses. Collectively, they've done, it's actually way more than $100 million now, um, but we'll call it $100 million just to keep it nice and even for the moment. So let me share my screen. If you're a client of ours, you may have seen this before. If you are not a client of ours, you may have seen it or you may not have seen it. Either way, I'm going to share some nuances with you that I think will give you some cool distinctions. So here's the deal, yo, there's getting clients and there's the delivering to those clients, right? Those are the two forces we're always having to juggle. The thing I want you to think about is Star Wars. This is one of those Star Wars ships that flies, I, I don't know what they're called, but think of it this way. When you are starting your business and you are, I would say at about 500K, so zero to 500K, okay, in revenue, what you should be obsessed with is SNM, sales and marketing, okay? So what you need to focus on for the first half million dollars in revenue is sales and marketing. That is the most important thing for your business growth because if you have no revenue, you have no business. So that's the first part. Now, well, Yuri, that's great, but what happens, like, what do I do with people once they actually pay me and I work with them? Well, that's obviously the delivery, right? So initially the delivery, now here's the cool thing, guys, is you guys are already amazing at helping people improve whatever you help them with. So you don't need to go to school for four years to become the expert that you already are. You've already done that stuff. So this is where you have an advantage because you're you're already like, okay, cool, back pain, I can do that in my sleep. You know how to help people in your specific arena. So initially, the focus is sales and marketing, learning the skills, become really proficient, lots of reps, et cetera. You're putting in the reps to build that sales and marketing muscle messaging, persuasion, how to craft an offer, et cetera. The delivery is a smaller portion of your focus, okay? Now, that starts to shift as the business starts to evolve and you're doing, I would say, north of a million dollars in revenue. Now, again, this, you know, there's no like one number, but in general, things start to change a little bit because here's what happens. When you grow, you're like you as an individual, your specific focus moves away from the sales and marketing a little bit, and it's actually a little bit more heavily focused on delivery. Now, I'm not saying that you spend more time working one-on-one. -on -one. I'm, I'm talking about really thinking about the product, the deliverable, the thing that people are experiencing with your help. And I'll give you an example of this. So one of our clients, Ryan, he started with us in November, 2019, and they were negative $40,000 in the hole, had to take out a loan to survive. They started working with us later that month. They had himself, his business partner, Richard, and a few people in their office, in their chiropractic clinic. They moved their business online because they had to, they had to find a way to, you know, survive, not even the pandemic that hadn't even hit yet. So three months later during the pandemic, they're doing six figures a month, about a hundred and some odd. By March, April of 2020, they're above 352,000. I spoke to them. They're now enrolling 1,200 clients per month into their program online, helping people with Hashimoto's. So do you think delivery becomes a big issue? Uh, you better believe it, right? Obviously there's, you know, they've got a sales team, et cetera. They went from a few employees to, you know, I think they're close to a hundred or just north thereof right now, but that's all happened in less than two years. You know, they built, you know, on, on pace really to do, you know, $60 million, which is, which is insane. And the thing is when they first came in, they really had a focus on the sales and marketing. They had to learn their Facebook ads. They had to get that whole process dialed in. And then they ran into some bottlenecks with delivery, right? And we helped them through that process. So now 
you know, the big thing is how do you keep more of your customers? How do you service them? How do you improve that lifetime value? So this is how things change over time. And this, you know, going back up to here is, you know, you have to understand the two forces, like getting clients and then delivering to them, but also understanding where you should focus your attention at any given moment in your business journey. All right. So let's talk about getting clients, which is the first step. I've mentioned this before, a perfect client pipeline. So let's dive into this. So let me first map out the perfect client pipeline. This is the business model that we've used in Healthpreneur to go from like ground zero to where we are now. It's what every single one of our clients do. We don't spend time doing dancing videos on, on Instagram. If you want to do that, that's on your own, but we don't teach that stuff. We don't do, you know, blogging, YouTubing. It's like this and that's it. We focus on this until you're at a point where you have the desire, if you do, and the resources and bandwidth to take on other things in addition to this if you wanted to. But Ryan's business, there's nothing else. It's perfect client pipeline. That's for business, right? We have a lot of clients who just do this exclusively. We have others that do this and then add on another thing like YouTube or something else. But this is the foundation, okay? I didn't have a YouTube channel. I didn't have Instagram. I didn't have a podcast for the first three years of Healthburner. All we did was this. So how it starts off is we use Facebook ads. We call this predictable prospecting. As I've mentioned before, you post stuff online, no one's gonna see it. That's just the way it is, right? That's the algorithms working against you. Instagram and Facebook are pay to play platforms. If you're posting organically and hoping people are gonna see it, the vast majority don't. Fewer than 2% of your followers see anything you post. So it's depressing. It's also very exciting because it means if you know how to do this stuff, you can put your message in front of exactly who you want without worry right? Because of when you have a pipeline, let's when you have a system that can attract people into your world, you don't have to do all that stuff. You don't have to do all the grind. So essentially what happens is the reason we do this is because most people have no clue who you are, right? Like most people don't know who we are for the most part, right? Most of you guys probably have never heard of me before you came into our world. Some of you maybe, you know, knew me from years ago and my other stuff, you know, when I was dancing at night and stuff, but that was a different time. So we go from being unknown to, all right, how do I put my message in front of people? Because as I mentioned this morning, no one's walking by your clinic and walking in on, online. It's not happening. So Facebook advertising is the simplest platform for most people to understand and go from, I have no idea how to get in front of my people to the next day being like, oh, wow, I have people coming into my world and booking calls with me. Now, it doesn't take one day to set this up, but once you push go, that's how fast it can happen. Okay. I think of Facebook as your it's your blog, it's your YouTube channel, it's your email list, it's, it's your opportunity, as Amelia had mentioned, to put a message in front of the audience you want to target. If you want to speak to people who have low back pain, you can target those people. If you want to speak to people who've got skin issues, they're out there, right? There's 3 billion users on Facebook. Do you think a few of them that you're exactly looking to work with might be on there? The answer is every single time, yes, no matter how niche or specific or special your audience is, I promise you they're on there. So from the Facebook ad, what do we do? Do we just put out an ad and that's it? What happens? Like, what do, the, do people just like it and share it and that's it? No, there's a link in that ad and it invites them to a masterclass or a webinar, whatever you want to call it. We call this teach to sell. And the reason for this is because the purpose of your masterclass of your webinar is not to give people the protocol for them to figure things out on their own. That's the least valuable thing you can provide for them. Because remember, when they don't pay, they don't pay attention. So the masterclass, think of it like this. Think of it like your documentary. What's been the last documentary you've seen? No one's seen a documentary recently? All right, that movie, that documentary had a very specific agenda, a very specific agenda based on who directed or produced the movie or the documentary. And some people might say, well, that was very biased. And my answer is exactly. I saw the Game Changers. It's a movie about, um, or a documentary about eating more plant-based foods and how it's better for our health and performance. And when I finished watching that, in my head, I was like, I'm going to go vegan again. And I posted this on Facebook and everyone was like, that's bullshit. It's biased. Like the producers are all vegan athletes. And I'm like, I know that's the point. They have an agenda that they want to put out into the world and the right people will resonate with it. So that's what your webinar's goal is, is, is to present the way you see the topic that you are the expert in. It's opinionated, it's 1000% subjective, and it's your philosophy. That's it. It's not about saying, well, the objective data shows, like you're not trying to appease everyone. You want to bother people. You want to stir them up. You want people throwing stuff at their computer and be like, this person's full of shit. Meanwhile, there are other people watching this that are like, man, this person, like, this is legit. That's the goal of marketing. It's to polarize people. 
and I know that's maybe not the best used word considering everything that's happening now, but you want to magnetically attract the right people to you and the people who are just not resonating with you, you want you want to repel them. That's the purpose of your masterclass. The beautiful thing is that these here, they work 24 seven on your behalf. So you're going to sleep, you're watching a movie with your kids, you're playing outside, you're, you're, you're on an airplane, wherever. This stuff is working for you. It's not you manually posting on Instagram, you having to do this or that or that. You could do nothing and this stuff is working on your behalf 24 seven. You set it up once, you monitor it, you manage it, a couple hours a week, it's doing its thing. Now, what we're doing here is we're planting the seeds. We're building out a pipeline. It's a funnel, right? We're moving people into, uh, from, you know, if we think of it like this, you have, you know, let's say a thousand people up here, down here, you might have 10, right? So it's a funnel where we're moving people out. We're getting rid of the people that are not going to resonate with our message. And we only want to speak with the people who are. So from the masterclass, we move to an application. So it's like, hey, if you've enjoyed this, here's the next step. So let's get on the phone, which is the final step here. So they fill out an application first. They tell you a little bit about their situation. You have a good sense of, you know, if they're a good fit potentially, then you get on the phone with them. Now, this phone conversation we call coach to close. It's not a uh, sale like a, a slimy car salesman type of close. It's once, you, you, once you've identified that this is someone who needs your help, that you can help, it's about having a truthful, honest conversation that, you know, in some cases might be a bit uncomfortable because the goal is to get to the truth. It's to help someone get from where they are to where they want to be. And, you know, a lot of you, obviously, we, we work on these calls all the time because, you know, this is a skill you have to develop. But many of you have seen and experienced people on the other line who will speak with you and they might be crying sometimes. And I, I, want you, I want you to acknowledge how valuable that is. You're giving someone 30, 45, 60 minutes of them, of space for them to talk about their situation, to be heard and to have a safe space with a stranger that they found on friggin' Facebook and somehow had enough trust to spend, you know, 30 to 60 minutes with you on the phone. When you think of how amazing that is, it's incredible. And to think of the fact that you were unknown to them and they were unknown to you maybe a couple hours or a couple of days prior to the point where a percentage of them start to work with you and you can help them, that's amazing, right? So that's what we call this the perfect client pipeline. It's a pipeline that's built to attract your perfect clients. And there's, there's a lot of nuances to this, right? So some of those nuances are what we talked about here, right? What makes one pipeline work while well, maybe another one doesn't? Well, your market plays a piece in that. But most importantly, your messaging and your magic, like how you position something that everyone knows in a new way, like little things like that is what makes something like this work versus something that looks the same, not work as well. And if you don't know how to do this, this is why we're here, right? We are the best in the world at doing this, at helping health experts build a great virtual practice by really bridging the gap between your expertise and the people you want to serve. And it's a skill. It takes time. It takes coaching. It takes feedback. And that's what we're here to do. So that's the first way. That's how we get clients in. That's all you need to do. I mean, if you want to build a business that does 10K, 20K, 50K a month, that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. You know, you can take it just as high as you want, as low as you want. It's all good. So once you get people coming in, well, what do you do with them? Well, that's where we move into step two, delivering results. So first thing I want to mention is when you have people that, let's, I'm just going to use this pipeline example again. So once you've got people that opt in for your webinar, your masterclass, they will be on your email list. This is how Dana went from 80 people on her email list to 35,000. She paid Facebook in the form of ads. People watched her webinar. And on when they opted in, they would then join her Facebook group. So this is how you incorporate a Facebook group into this whole process. So you have a Facebook group, you're building a free community, you're adding value to them, you're building trust. And all of that then supports this whole process. Okay, so I just wanted to tie those two things together. Do you have to have a Facebook group? No. Is it helpful? For sure, as Dana is you know, a great example of. So let's talk about delivering results to clients who are paying you money. So transformation as opposed to transaction. This is what it's all about, okay? Now, this is also where there's the most, I would say, innovation and creativity because there's no one size fits all. And hopefully you can read my rating. So I want to give you a couple of things. I want to give you five principles for client success. And I think these are, hopefully they're helpful for you. These are things, these are things that we've built our business on after having, you know, worked in this for, for many, many years. Okay. So number one is that the client isn't right. The clients, your clients aren't the ones who are right. They don't have the answers. How could they be right? Because if they were right, then they wouldn't be working with you in the first place. You see, people don't know what they need. They know what they maybe want, but a great coach is able to tell someone what they don't want to hear to help them do the things they may not know they want to do in order to get the results that they say they want. 
right? If if people knew what they wanted, then Henry Ford would have just given everyone another person buggy. Steve Jobs would not have invented the iPod, right? So it's, yeah, you can certainly take client feedback for sure, but the client isn't always right, right? You are the expert, you are the authority in the area of helping someone achieve a result. You are closer to being the right. And I'm not saying like getting into arguments about who's right and wrong. I'm saying you have the answers. Okay, never forget that. Number two is that I believe if we are here to help people create transformation, right? This, this you know, self-empowered journey, then naturally we have to teach them how to fit if they want lasting transformation. So, so the cool thing about being in health is you can send people supplements. And that is one way that a lot of businesses have you know, built their business. But I can promise you having sold supplements for many years in my previous business, that's not how you create transformation, right? It's the the quick fix that, you know, is more alluring because it doesn't require any work. But you want to attract the right people who are committed, who are like, yeah, I've done all the diets, I've done all the supplements, I've done all the pills. They might have a component in your process, but they're not the be all and end all. So by teaching people how to fish, building better habits, building skills, this is how you create lasting transformation. That's massively important if you care about transforming people's lives. It's like, if you've got kids, you can't tie their shoes for them forever. At some point, they have to learn how to tie their shoes. Three, people treat you the way you train them to treat you. So when you are onboarding new clients, if you don't want clients sending you emails every second of the day, make sure there's a clear boundary there. Hey, the best way for us to communicate is inside the Facebook group, right? Or instead of like, hey, here's my text, here's my phone number, you can text me whenever you want. That creates an expectation that you can never live up to. If someone sends you an email and you respond within 30 seconds, you just set the bar at 30 seconds. If you take five minutes to respond the next time, they're not going to be as pleased. You have this, your business, you create the rules, right? You can be super accommodating. You can do all that kind of stuff, but you're also going to create um, a sense of, oh, this is how it works here. Like if I, if I, if I need something, you know, she'll, or he'll bend over backwards to make it happen. Like you could do that if you want to, but I, I really want to help you understand that like your audience, your clients will treat you the way you train them to treat you. So if you have four calls a week or two calls a week, and that's only at seven o'clock. Tough shit if they can't make the calls. But if you start accommodating, well, you know, I'll do two o'clock, one o'clock, you're gonna lose. Okay. You have to establish clear boundaries. Number three, tough love is true love. My wife might disagree with this, but I don't know. Um, again, like as I mentioned before, I, I truly love all of you guys. Like, especially those of you who are clients, and I know a bit more personally. Like, I truly, truly love you guys. Even though I may not have met you in person, some of you I have. Um, and, and that doesn't come across as like, let's just, you know, snuggle and, and sing Kumbaya. My goal is to challenge you. Our goal as a coaching team is to challenge you, is to, is to raise your standards, is to, is to challenge you when you're being soft, is to help you look in the mirror when you're pointing fingers. This is the kind of stuff that's needed, I think, more in this world more than ever before. And that's what we're here to do. And I hope that's what you're there to do for your clients as well, is to let them know that it's not going to be peaches and roses, right? It's going to, there's going to be times when you feel like eating dirt. That's the way it's going to go. But by being there with them, by going in, like in the trenches with them and being there for them and picking them up and inspiring them and not letting them get off the hook when things get tough because that's what they did in the past and that's why they came to you now, right? When they want to give up is when you need to show up and you need to call them in, call them up, not call them out because yeah, they can give up, right? But they've been giving up for 20 years. Do they want the same results? Well, if so, they can quit, but they don't, right? And this is your opportunity as a coach and someone who truly cares about helping people to elevate them to a bigger version of themselves. If you can't become a different version of yourself, you're not going to get different results until you change that. Number five, all innovation stems from client challenges. So the way you make your program better is you don't deliberate for years to make your program and then launch it. You launch your program, you launch your service, and it's good enough. Remember, you are good enough to help people in a dramatic fashion starting right now. But you will be better next year. Your program will be better next year. Your program's going to be better 10 years from now. When we started HPA, it was a two-day live workshop, okay? It's changed a bit. And that's because we have worked with so many clients that we've recognized this could be better. We got feedback and we continue to evolve and get better. And the same thing is going to happen for you guys. So do not let perfectionism stop you from moving forward. Instead, work collaboratively with your clients and look at where you can make things better. So when it comes to delivering results to your clients, there are many, many ways you can do this. And I want to give you a simple framework before we finish off here, which is what we call the dream come true system. This is something we help you guys with, obviously, on the delivery side, once you've got clients coming in. In order for this to make sense, you need 
Think about this. Everyone is on the same train, on the same track, going to the same destination. So you're not helping five different target markets. You're helping one target market, everyone's on the same path, and they're all going to the same destination. Because if you have five different target markets, you've got five trains, five tracks, five different destinations, and now you have burnouts. You have one-on-one, -on -one, you can't scale, and you just want to you know, pull your hair out. So the dream come true system, think about it like a journey, like a train track, right? Here's, you know, now is like clients not too happy because they're dealing with something and you're going to get them to the after where they're happier. Okay, well, cool. What are the steps they have to go through? The little milestones that they're going to achieve to move them closer to that after result. Now, how you do this is there's many ways you can do this, right? Part of it is extracting your knowledge or intellectual property in the form of evergreen trainings that people would go through. If you repeat yourself over and over again, saying the same thing, that might be an indication, hey, this could be created in the form of a training that people could go through. So then I'm not saying the same thing over and over again, right? So that's where it starts is you take, think of it this way. You have three levels. You've got the content or the curriculum, right? Which is the step-by-step -step plan that people would go through on their own. You have the community, which is the group of clients you work with. And then you have, the, you have the coaching at the top. Now, community and coaching could be inverse depending on how many clients you work with. But in a group setting, the community is massive. How many of you would agree that your fellow clients in HBA are a big plus of being an HBA, right? Like the community is, is everything. And that's why working one-on-one -on -one in isolation with clients may not always be the best thing. Again, unless you're dealing with emotional trauma that's very personal, in most cases, and I'm talking like 98% of situations, group-based programs are the best. I believe, we believe that community heals, isolation kills. So when you can create a community of like-minded people and they're all on the same path, it's absolutely amazing what can happen. You can do events like this where everyone comes together and has a great time and it's even more magical in person. So what I would love to do for like literally two, three minutes is I want you to think of client success and I want you to think of in delivering virtual support, coaching, whatever you want to call it. What are some things you can do to help someone get closer to the results that they want? What we can come up with in the chat, and I just want to use this as a brainstorming exercise to show you what's possible in terms of what you can do delivery-wise. All right, so we got daily accountability check-ins. So I'm just going to put a couple notes here. So I'm just going to put daily accountability. We have live Q&A. We've got many habits to stack. We have a Facebook group, group classes, trackers, board system. Yeah. So on and on and on. Okay. So you guys, like, there's a lot of stuff here and, I, and I'm just jotting this stuff down to help you understand that. Like if you don't know how to deliver coaching, et cetera, results to your clients online, that's okay. You also, if you're a chiropractor, as an example, didn't know how to adjust spines before you went to college, you know, for chiropractic. We've been doing this for a very, very long time, right? And there's many different deliverables or ways you can support your clients. And these are just a few of them. And what we specifically focus on is, you know, how you build out your content. How can you help clients build these little mini habits that can stack into great results? How do you build great community with accountability, amazing support? How do you coach clients in such a way where you hold them to a higher standard, right? How do you really build a, a great business that is no longer dependent upon you doing everything? Or that'd be cool. Because I don't know if you guys notice this, but we've got some amazing team members. The beautiful thing about that is I, I'm not the smartest dude in the room. We've got three of the best copy coaches on the planet who literally would charge more than what our clients pay to join HPA and you guys get access to them every single day. You know, like it's incredible for me to have that type of support that can be provided to you guys. And this is what's also possible for your businesses. As it grows, as more clients come in, you can bring experts in to support you. So you're not the cog in the wheel. You're not the only person who can help your clients. But your magic is really in articulating your process, is, is building out your curriculum in such a way where here's the recipe that you know that's been proven over time to help someone go from here to there. And then over time, you can bring people in to support you. You can have others do coaching calls and supporting your clients in different ways. And that's the beauty about this. So it starts off maybe one-on-one, -on -one, but then you bring in more clients and things evolve and they get better and they grow. And so that is how you deliver results to clients in a virtual fashion. And again, this can go down many, many layers, but I wanted to give you hopefully a simple framework for you to understand this. All right. So let me just stop my share here and let me just come back to my mic, which might be helpful. 
So I'm talking about this as the $100 million blueprint. This, what I've just shared with you, showed you, is the perfect client pipeline and the dream come true system. So it's how to get clients and how to deliver to those clients once they're in. This is what we do every single day with you guys, right? In the Health Business Accelerator. This is what we help you refine, get, you know, get up and running and then perfect over time. So you build a business that you love, that doesn't burn you out, that you can scale, that you know you see the fulfillment in the sense of doing purposeful work and your clients are getting amazing results and you can do all of this virtually. So that's what we're here to do. This has generated hundreds of millions of dollars for our clients. And is it easy? No. So there's times where you might go a couple of weeks and you're like, what the hell's going on? Again, you have to go back to the drawing board, but it makes a lot more sense when you have coaches and guides who've done this many, many times before to walk you up that mountain. So that's what we're here for. Do you struggle trying to really narrow down who your perfect ideal client avatar is? I'm going to show you exactly how to think through and how to walk through exactly how to identify your perfect clients and how you need to show up in the world in order to start attracting them.